Hello everyone, welcome back and thank you for being here today. Today I want to show you how to blend using acrylics. Over the years of painting, I discovered this blending technique that I fell in love with. I've tried different methods and different ways of uh, blending using you know acrylics and different brushes and so I finally discovered this way of blending and I wanted to share with you guys and hopefully it will help you guys uh, in uh, your journey of art and uh, you'll enjoy this way of blending and very limited materials needed for today and I'll show you. I was able to design these blending brushes and you would need two of these for today um, and uh, one will work but it's easier to use two because the first one, I, when we have our paint mixed on our palette, we pick up the paint and uh, spread it everywhere on the canvas. And then the second brush to save time, uh, since acrylics dries a little faster, we just use the dry brush to blend everything smoothly. And I'll show you in detail how to do that. There's different ways of blending, but by far this is my favorite way. And I hope you guys will learn a lot from this. Let's go over the materials needed for today. We need a palette of some sort. I have this palette paper that I like to use because once I'm done, I just tape it to my palette. Once I'm done, I just bunch it up and throw it away. It saves a lot of time. Um, and I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas here. I bought it straight from Michaels. It's already ready to go. I don't, lay, I don't use any water or anything over it. I just use straight as it is. Uh, there's different ways of preparing your canvas, but I just prefer it straight out of the store. Sometimes if it needs I'll add another layer of gesso but it's totally up to you, up to the artist. Um, a water jar and a palette knife to mix your paint and of course like I show you these blending brushes. These are available on my website there's a link up here or in the description down below if you're interested. I have uh, these blending brushes and my acrylic paint that is available on there. And so we need titanium white, of course, cadmium medium yellow, naphtho medium red, ultramarine blue, and carbon black. All right, before we start mixing our paint, I'm gonna quickly describe what we're gonna do here. So, I'm probably not gonna cover the whole canvas. I'm gonna start from here, go from lightest, blending into the darker sky, right? And um, you can cover the canvas if you want, but this is just an example. The technique works on any kind of scene, any kind of blending uh, scene that you, or any colors that you mix. It should work very nicely. So, I just wanna show you the technique of how to blend, okay? So first things first, let's pick up our titanium white in our palette and create a couple shades, all right? So let's just add the titanium white about this much, maybe another about the same amount here, and then maybe a little less here and a little less here. Let's just start with four. We might add another, right? But right here, really quickly, add a bit of titanium white now. Let's pick up our yellow and right here and let's just add it just a touch right here, very small amount, a little more here, a little more here, right? Like this. That's good enough. Okay. Now let's pick up our red. Right here and let's add the red just a touch in here very small amount, a little more here, and then about this much here. You can see the pattern, right? Now you can, you know, it works the same way with any shades you mix, but um, here it is like this. This is how I'm doing it. Let's pick up our blue. And with the blue, let's just add the blue just a little bit in here and then a little bit more in here. And I'm just gonna add a darker one right in here, like this. Okay, and now I'm going to add a little bit of the red. Actually, I decided to pick up the red and add it right here. And I'm gonna add a touch of white in here, okay? As well. So let's add a touch of white. We're almost there. 
just a small amount, just a very small amount right there. And then we're going to add the final color, our black color, our carbon black. And we're going to add it to our blue. Our, this will be our darkest shade. Okay, about this much. All right, let's mix these colors quickly and then see if we need to add anything uh, to our shades, okay? So we're gonna pick up our palette, our palette knife and then we're gonna start mixing our brightest color really quickly, just blend it in, mix all of it in. There you go, that's good enough. Next. Should be a, like a bright orangey color. You could see. Next. Next. Basically, it's important to have transitions be not intense. If I were to go start from the brightest color right here and try to blend it in with my darkest, it'd be very hard to blend those in. It'll, it's, you're gonna, you know, spend a lot of time trying to, that's why it's important to have your colors pre-mixed at least somewhat, you know, like, um, li uh, like each time it goes a little darker, as you can see. Um, so then it'll blend in easier. So it's also important to keep in mind uh, that mixing your paint also matters in the blending process. See, for example, this is a good example for um, what I was talking about. You see how this is pink, and then it quickly transitions to a darker, uh, like a bluish shade here, right? Uh, we wanna add a little more white in here because it's too, the, the change is too dramatic. So we wanna make it a little bit smoother by just adding a little bit of white. Just a touch like this. All right. That's much better. That should be an easier way, easier, you know, way to blend those in together. Even though it's still a little dark, but that's okay. What I can do is I can actually add red here. So let's add red to balance everything out. And um, I have some paper towels. Sometimes when I don't want to bring that blue color in with my lighter colors, I just kind of quickly clean it out like this. And I added a touch of red right here. So I'm gonna quickly mix that in. There you go, that's nice. So we want to, each time for the colors to be a little darker. And our final color here is this blue and black, right? It'll be a very dark color. There you go. These are the colors we have. You can mix any shade you want. The technique should work on any shade you have with these blending brushes. So let's, let's go ahead and uh, pick up our blending brush and start putting our paint on our canvas.
Okay, so now we're gonna pick up our water jar and our, one of our blending brushes, dab it in the water halfway. Okay, squeeze a little bit of it out like this, just a little bit. And then we're gonna pick up our lightest color, right? Let's pick up our lightest color. Just pick it up with your blending brush like this. And let's just put it right here. Randomly. I have no plan how it's gonna turn out. I have an idea, just, you know, the colors obviously, how it's gonna look, but there's no plan. I'm just showing you how to blend, okay? So I just quickly put out this color right here. Like this. Next, I'm gonna, every time I pick up my new color, I always dab the tip just in the water like this. And then I pick up my second shade and just add it wherever. Okay. Maybe you can carry the paint out if you want, totally up to you. I'm probably not gonna, like I said, I'm not gonna cover everything. Just showing you. Okay, next, I'm gonna dab my brush, just the tip in the water. Pick up my next color. Okay. It's okay if you mix it in with your, you know, go a little bit lower. That's totally fine. All right. Just really rough, roughly like this. And bring it down a little bit lower. Like this, all right. Next, I'm gonna dab my brush in the water. Pick up my pink and just put it everywhere, wherever I want it. Bring it down lower if you want. Just spread it everywhere. Dab your tip in the water if you want to pick up more. And just put it down like this. Same idea. Okay, same idea. All right, next, dab my brush in the water, pick up this blue color, put it down like this, just put it down everywhere. Mix it in with the pink. Okay. All right, and our final color, we got is this darkest one, right? And just put it in the corners here. Okay. And here as well. go very nice and easy just spread out the paint evenly like this there you go all right so now I'm gonna put my brush in the water jar and pick up my second brush and now it's the magic blending time so with the dry brush I'm gonna very very easily and softly do the swirl you know swirl effect and like pull the paint upwards and like almost like dabbing it lightly and pulling the paint upwards okay now if your brush if your paint starts to dry out a little bit that's when you can just lightly 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 just lightly just a tip dab your brush in the water you know swirl it quickly so it won't be too much and so it could be a little damp and you continue
and just softly blend those in. And you could see it blending very nicely. I'm not trying to, you know, take the dark paint and drag it down. I'm always pulling the lighter paint upwards first, okay? Now you can go several times and blend everything in several times. You know, like for example, this part right here, just tap just the tip in the water and continue blending. Very nice and easy. There. And now before it dries, you can just wash off one, uh, one of your the blending brush that you just used very lightly. Just wash it off like this and then use some paper towels to quickly um, just dry it quickly, softly, gently, you know, squeeze in and get most of the water out, but make it damp. So it's nice and damp and you can go over it one more time if you want pressing lightly because your brush is nice and damp. It works very nicely. It like finalizes very, very nicely. and just do the same thing and finalize it. Maybe even just go over the areas that need to be, you know, just blend in just a little bit more with just a damp brush. For example, here, and just, just a tip, make your brush damp and just lightly press and blend that in and that'll smooth all you know the paints together nicely so while it dries out i thought i'd finish the bottom part real quick and show you how you know it looks against uh you know just cover this part real quick. So I just added black here and I'm gonna mix it with the leftover paint so I won't waste it. Um, and what I'm gonna do here is actually, maybe even use some of this blue. Just mix it in like this. And I'm gonna use an artist sponge, I'll show you. This is a fun little technique that helps create like bushes and trees. Here's an artist sponge. 
They're, they come in a pack, I chose the one I like. I'm gonna dab it in the water all the way and then squeeze it out to make it nice and damp. So it's nice and damp here. And I'm going to just pick up this color. Just pick it up, test it if you want. And just pretend, you know, pretend there's a bunch of bushes there. You know, follow my Can go a little bit higher but just cover that up just for you guys to see how it looks against the the background color that we mixed let's pretend these are like bushes or trees. Let's do one that is up here. Maybe one up here. and just cover the bottom part. And continue covering everything. If you ran out of paint, you add a little more paint and just cover your canvas. Okay, do the same thing here. And this part, I'm going to show you something cool. I'm gonna pick up a detail brush, dab it in the water, just use some black, and you can draw out your branches. dab my brush in the water. I always dab it in the water and continue on. Pretend these are far away trees here. And using the same brush, 
clean it out and whatever color you have left this may be lighter color right here and you can add the highlights going over some of these branches and just fade it out have my brush in the water we'll continue Same thing here. All right, and then for fun with just a little bit of yellow and blue right here, and then mix it in whatever color it gives me, maybe green right this dark green color right here maybe add that in with your artist sponge maybe add it right in here pretend there's up close there's some you know greener and lighter bushes just maybe some areas like this not everywhere okay All right, anyway, I'm gonna stop right there. Obviously, I just went with the flow with this. The most important thing is blending. Create it, whatever you'd like. Um, see what you can with, come up with. You know, maybe you add some clouds and birds in the sky. You know, whatever you have, want. Just have fun with it. You know what? I'm gonna add a few more little birds here. Why not, right? Why not? They're flying away to their nests somewhere. Oh, you see, I had some paint right here. Let's add one right here little happy mistake maybe there's some far away ones totally up to you maybe there's a bigger one here there oh there's a little mistake oh there's another one i'm gonna keep going anyway you get the point right just add the birds add the clouds have fun with this i hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you for being patient and any feedback is greatly appreciated thank you guys so much stay tuned for next week's tutorial take care and god bless